Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, this is pretty obvious, actually. Funny enough, I'm all done summoning, because I summoned on Ibuki, and that was it. So, what I like to do for Fago is actually usually for the next year, prepare out everything, and I'm still currently making that list. But what I have never done before is actually look back and see of how many of the units that I actually wanted did I get this year and how many multis did it actually take me. So to, for today's video, we're going to look back for the entire year and see how actual successful was my savings. <laughs> we never actually talk about, I talk a whole lot about savings, I never actually mention how successful I am at it. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can tell me how your year has been for summoning. Uh, if you ended up getting the unit you wanted, how badly... Ha, or maybe you had a really bad experience summoning. Feel free to tell me whatever. I'll gladly listen. So let's go back to the start of January, where it was a revival of Benny over here, Benny Enma. Uh, and I think the that was basically it for this entire month. Was there an actual five star on the Amazonas? Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I ended up doing a, a, like one multi for Benny and I did not get Benny. I've tried to get her multiple times at this point and it's just like, nah, it ain't happening, man. I think in total it was only one multi for this year, but in total I think I've done maybe six multis trying to get for Benny. Which isn't a lot in the Fate Grand Order, but it's a lot for me when you're saving up. But anyway, that's how January came out. No new units got in on January. Uh, next, okay, we have... Oh, wait, the... Uh, who is the... Did I try for the New Year's unit this year? Let me see. I guess I'll know when I look at the New Year's unit, huh? Oh, yeah, Yang! It was Yang! I did it. I never did a video for Yang, but I ended up getting Yang two multis i think i did one multi for shits and giggles and then on the second multi my brother who was with me at the time just said i think i just singled yang and he got yang and i got angry so he got her twice in one multi actually so that made me angry so i did a multi for yang and i got yang and that's how i got my yang <laughs> I completely forgot how I got Yang. Yeah, because I never did a video. I just, like, randomly had Yang in my box. <laughs> That's how it happened. Um, I was like, I know there was a unit new that I did get. So I ended up getting her, but there you go. February, we have... This is the big one. We have Say. Now, Say, I did end up wanting, and I think I ended up... I did end up getting her. I think it took around... Three multis overall? That sounds about right. I don't think I ever- I didn't summon for any of the other raid ups. Actually, that's a lie. I always throw a multi at Quetz and I never get Quetz, so I think I did that this year too. Just in general, if you see Quetz on a banner, assume that I pulled for her and failed to get her, because that is my basic mode of anything when it comes to Quetz, is that I always try and I usually fail. She's NP2, so don't feel too bad for me, but yeah. I was definitely able to get Say, and I was glad to get Say, as she was, uh, she saw a lot of use for me up until the arts meta started, so she was like the almost the last, no, she wasn't the last gasp. I'll show you the actual last gasp when we get there, but it was another nice, uh, quick unit to actually use. And I actually really do enjoy using her. Uh, it's a damn shame she came so close to the end of the quick meta, because if she had come a little bit sooner, I th would have got a lot more use. I want to say I may have thrown one multi at Erish Goggle just for the fun of it because I can't control myself when it comes to her. And I've, oh, every single time she's ever shown up, similar to Quetz, I failed to get her. And I failed this year as well. Another unit just to add to the pile of units I do not get. I did not summon for President's Day. Sorry, my Preza King. I don't think I summoned for... Mm, I definitely didn't do a video for him at all. Uh, mainly because I don't like what they did to my boy. Um, I did. I had to go throw. I usually always throw a multi at these events. It's not because I actually wanted um, Odysseus. It was more just because the craft essence they help with grinding, so that's why I kind of get it. So I may have thrown it a uh, multi at him. Did not get him. Failed to get him. Actually, I don't think I do it for for males. I actually didn't throw any multis at him then because I was I'm looking at these and going like, I 
this is the year where because men are so like not as popular as women or at the very case they try and treat <laughs> they release so little men that they usually give out a free man craft essence so this was the year i just didn't summon at all because i got the craft essence i needed and then didn't summon anymore because yeah just not the greatest fan of odysseus over here i like the character odysseus from the story i don't like the fago version though it's one of my very few greek dudes that i don't like so didn't summon for Caldea Boys Collection. Didn't summon for this this campaign right here. I don't think there was even a storm. Was there even a banner related to this? And I just get 10 SQ. I definitely did not summon for a Fate Apocrypha because I think I. No, actually, I seem like the kind. Depending on who's on the cover here. No, I did not summon on this banner. <laughs> I was like, ah, maybe if they had the right unit on the cover. No, looking at this, no way. No way, I didn't summon on this. And I already summoned on Fate Apocrypha beforehand. Uh, I definitely did not do a video on Romulus, but I do think I sent a multi on Romulus to see if I could get him. I think I ended up making a qualm of saying because I went so hard. Actually, because I think I went harder on Say than I, than I wanted to go. It ended up meaning that I didn't really go for Romulus. So I don't even think I even did the multi. If I don't do a video on it, you can always assume that I either did one multi off screen or I didn't do it at all, which is a shame. Um, I also think Romulus might still be bugged. I don't know if they ever fixed that bug, but hopefully they did. If you got them, feel free to tell me if you did. If they ever fixed them, <laughs> it'd be nice to know. Uh, was there something related to this? No? Oh, here we go. Here's Ryko <laughs> returning. <laughs> I definitely threw a multi at this, and I did not get Raikou again. <laughs> again, I don't, man, it's not fair. They put Raikou on too many banners, and I failed to get her every single time. Now, I could actually probably save, but knowing me, I just would never happen. I have every other... No, that's not true. I don't have Kentoki, which Kentoki is the, old, the only one. I have almost every other Rite of Servant, though. I have Shuden. I have, um... Uh, Shikibu, and I have, uh, of course, um, Ibuki as well. So I have almost all of them. I'm just missing the main big ones. Uh, actually, no, I'm also, I don't have Moriarty. I think I, I forgot he did Moriarty. Alright, so I'm missing him too. Point is, the Japanese ones, I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Next, 17 million downloads campaign. I did not summon on this, but just to be sure, let me look at the dudes on it. Mm, I feel like deep down inside me, there's a part of me that thinks I may have thrown a multi at Da Vinci to try and get her, but I don't think I got any of these dudes. Either way, whether I did or didn't, it's harder to remember if I do a video on it or not. But just looking at these dudes, I probably didn't get any of them because I don't have Musashi. I already had Skathatch, but uh, I don't. I didn't get more copies. I like Kentoki, but didn't summon for him. Uh, Jark over here, I definitely don't have. Brynhildr, I don't have. Ah, uh, it's a shame because I really want this Da Vinci, but... So that makes me feel like I probably threw a multi at this and failed at it again. So that's another just... I didn't get her in this case. Guda Guda Final, I didn't need the summon for at all, so I did not do any summons for it. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure... Let me look at it just to be sure. Sometimes it helps if I look at the summon campaign and see summon campaign 1... This one I definitely didn't summon on. This one I had to have thrown a multi at. Just because um, Nobukatsu was coming up. And she goes great with Nobukatsu. So I would have wanted her for Nobukatsu. So I chances are summoned on this and failed again. Another unit that I'm just going to go like. I think this is the only Guda Guda unit in recent years that I've actually failed to get. Because I think I get I get them every other one. Because uh, I, I have Okita Alter and I have the new one. Himiko. I think I have, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, I have Pickle Man, of course. So, yeah, I it's random. But sometimes I get the Guda Guda dudes and sometimes I don't. And this is an instance of me not getting the Guda Guda one that I want. That's a shame, but what can you do on this one? Fate Requiem I totally summoned for. I think I don't remember if I did a video on it, though, to be 100%. I, no, I did. I didn't. I think I did do one. Um, because it is, yes, because I was trying to go for Kyo, Koyo, Kyo, yo, Koyo, I was trying to go for a T-Rex mama, and I failed, so that's why I remember, I got Voyager, <laughs> and Voyager's a good quick unit, he's probably one of the better quick units, he definitely is for Avenger, and he was fun to have for the last dying breath of, 
quick before Arts showed up and basically made it the only one to really run. Well, at least for me, because I actually was able to pull Castoria. But in that meantime, while I was using Voyager, he is a lot of fun. I actually do like Voyager. It's just that if it were up to me, I would have definitely gone in the T-Rex. Even though I would have totally used Voyager more than the Rex, just because the Rex is, like, a, I think a single target unit. No, she did, yeah, she's a single target dinosaur buzzer, buster unit, so not seeing a lot of play from me at the moment. This one I had to have done at least three multis for. That's usually my go-to of how many multis do I spend? Three. During big events, it's like five or more. And for this year, I don't... No, I definitely didn't have to summon on this because I have every single one. No, I did summon on this. I did singles. To try and see if I could get um, the one unit that I was missing from this, which was Carmilla Rider. So I actually <laughs> did summon. But in terms of the other uh, summon banners that came along with this one. Mm, no. Yes, this one. This one I didn't do it because I don't need Merlin. He's being replaced if I wait long enough. So it's fine. Uh, and that was really all of May. Damn. June. Blasting through this. I did not summon on the bait banner. Which is, uh, understandable, because it is bait. Damn shame, though, because I really would like Caster Nero, but just the wrong time. There's just so many things coming up that just doesn't make sense to summon for her. And next we have... I didn't summon on any of this. Man, this was a really small, small time. Did I summon... No, this had to have been... I did summon on this. I didn't do a video on it, but I definitely did a summon trying to get King Protea, I think. And I got... <laughs> not King Protea, I got Melt. I don't remember, no, I had to have summoned for one or the other. Either way, I have Melt now, so it had to have been at minimum at least a single multi. <laughs> and I got Melt from it. And I remember being angry at it too, because I was like, damn it, that means I'm probably not going to get the summer units that I'm going for pretty pretty soon, and also Castoria, so I think I'm screwed. Thankfully for me, it didn't end up being the case. Next, we have Castoria. I definitely summoned a shit ton. I think I summoned at least... I do have been seven, maybe seven multi, seven to ten multis for Castoria. And definitely, because I would have not, three would have... I would have remembered if it was in, like, a very small amount. I had to have kept on summoning and kept on summoning. And during this time is when summer's around, so I usually have stuff for the next. So I totally have. I totally had to have gone crazy for her, and I did go crazy, and I was able to get her. So, and was this worth it? This definitely was worth it. I basically use her in every single team comp that I can. And that includes Berserker and Quick Ones. Just literally any comp that I can use her in, I use her in, so... Definitely ended up being worse than this one. And next we have Go Summer, this event. I cannot tell you how much I summoned between these two banners. Because it must have been an ungodly amount. It must have been a lot. Enough to completely be just out of everything by this point. I'm always drained the second Summer comes around. And I have every single one of these units. I have, uh, I have Kiara, I have Ilya, I have Brunhilde Berserker, I have Tomoe, I have Murasaki, and I have Abigail. One of the very few summers that I was actually able to completely clean out the entirety of it. I wasn't even trying for Abby, and I think I have maybe her MP2, I think. I was going for Murasaki. Because <laughs> that's the one that I was definitely interested in. That one took me forever to get a single copy for. And I was able to get Tomoe decent to moy a decent amount but yeah this one ended up being super kind to me it wasn't too bad um when you consider the fact that i was summoning for two on two banners i think this might have been in total maybe it has to be s close to seven as well it's either seven or just all of it gone like in, th in this period there has to have been basically all the all the sync warrants that you would have gotten for anniversary, they're gone by the time summer this banner hits. They're completely gone once that hits, so um yeah. And that, that was definitely worth it. I use every single one of those summer units, including Summer Abbey. There's a certain team comps that I actually do use her for, and there's certain fights where she's actually very useful, so 
which is not something you'd ever expect anyone to say, because for the most part, everyone is understanding that Summer Abbey is not good, but that does not mean that you can't use her in ways that are actually beneficial. It's one of those weird things where it's like, yeah, she could definitely use a buff, but also at the same time, she weirdly works in this very specific fight for some reason, and I don't really have time to explain to you why that still does not make her fully good. It's complicated. Either way, I find use for her. Uh, 18 million downloads campaign. I did not summon for the Mothman. I can definitely look at Mothman and say I did not summon. Land of Shadows, did I summon for this? Totally not. Just because I already have Skahawk, why would I summon? Yeah, I'd... Mm, I was going to say, why would I summon and then I see the CE art? I feel like I must have done maybe one multi to get for CEs for the event. But I don't have any of these, so that makes me feel like I didn't do a single multi on this at all. So, there we go on this one. Interlude campaign, I totally didn't summon on this because I already have shooting, so there's no reason for me to summon on this. Next! Uh, Guda Guda summoning campaign. I had to have done a multi for Okita. I think I only ever do summons on Okita. Just so on the off chance that I do get her, I can always at Guts on Twitter and say like, boom, I have your girl, but unfortunately it did not happen. And I've been trying to do this for years and it's never worked out for me. So one, you'll know when I have Okita because I'll put up that tweet, but I'll never do a video chasing after her because that would be insane, first of all. Yeah, that's, yeah, especially with coming up, this was the actual unit I would have wanted. This unit must have taken at least five multis. I, I'm pretty sure I did a summon video for her, and I got her in that summon video somehow. I can't actually remember. Huh. No, I think I would have gotten her in that one. No. Damn, I really can't remember. My memory is not good. Point is, I did eventually get her. <laughs> I, I remembered it was not... I had, I had to have bought St. Quartz at some point to get her, because I had used all available sync words to me to try and get her and it just did not work out for me <clears throat> but i did eventually get her and i enjoy using her because she's a pretty good she's my only buster support who actually functions at a buster as a buster support and i actually use her um in a lot of <laughs> teams funny enough but a lot of it is story related just because it's like well it doesn't really matter and i can just use her and i actually use her for farming funny enough <laughs> for to kill the last node where it's just a single unit and she could just get on a buff everyone and they're fine um yeah so really good i really like himiko and i can't wait to eventually get the free version of her sister later down the line and finally we have did i summon on nightingale no i would never i would never have summoned on nightingale uh imaginary scramble i totally did try and i totally did fail i must have done hmm Three multis, at the very least, and I don't think I ever tried again after that. It was I considered it a failure, and I stopped. Um, you have to know when to kind of, like, cut and run. This was a damn shame, shame for it to go the way it did. <clears throat> damn, my throat was getting all dry. Um, I really like Nemo. Uh, <laughs> at least the character. Actually, the Fago version of Nemo is fine. My only problem with him is that he's white, and he should be a giant brown man, but... You know, Fago's gonna Fago, so I'm just gonna accept it that this is who he is at this moment because of Trident. So I really see him more as Trident in the in like the guise of Nemo more than I see him as actually the Captain Nemo from the stories. That's just the way it's gonna have to be in this case. But either way, that does not change the fact that I like him. And I also like Van Gogh. I thought she was a very goofy character. She was maybe the most goofy artist that we've ever seen. Because one second she would be like cracking jokes and the next she'd be like, I want to die. So very true to the artist experience of all the artists I know. This banner I would not have summoned on because I already have them. This was the one we were expecting it to be way crazier than it ended up being. So thankfully it didn't end up being too crazy. Um... So yeah, I totally missed out on this one. That was definitely, those both were all my cases if I wanted them. So, unfortunate, but you, what can you do? And finally, on Buki's banner, I actually got a Buki. So that is the end of it, and you saw how long that took. It took one multi. So overall, I would say that in terms of my hits versus misses, I definitely had way more hits than I had misses. Um, which is funny enough, because I think it's been like that for a while now. Uh, my saving tactic seems to work pretty well. 
Uh, it doesn't work for everyone, I can tell you that much based off the people I heard, but I've been very thankful of how lucky I've actually got it in Fago. And I think a lot of it comes down to knowing when to kind of stop and kind of cut your losses. I think for these kind of games, I think it's very important. Like you saw whenever there was a specific... Like there are d parts of the uh, banners that I just don't get the unit. And I really just legit stop summoning. And I go like, well, it's not happening. So I just like accept it and move on. And I think that's probably the best that you can do. Um... Because at the end of the day, with limited resources on both ends, like even with me saving, it's never going to be enough unless I do the full two-year thing, which is what I'm doing for Summer Ibuki. It's just never going to be enough. So the best thing that you can do is just kind of like breathe and realize, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm cooked. There's nothing I can do. So I'm just going to give up and maybe try again later. And I've done that multiple, multiple times now. I think there's also another Quetz banner we may have gone in this year that I also failed to get at. So there might have been two actual Quetz banners that I failed this at this year. Um, I definitely remember more of me actually getting them, but you know, obviously you always remember the good over over the bad usually, at least for me. But yeah, that was how my year went. I'm gonna look. <laughs> I still need to build for the next year and see, figure out my entire scheduling for stuff, and I will release that video. Closer to the end of December. But for now, I just wanted to take a look back and say, like, yo, this is how I actually went out. And I think I ended up doing pretty good this year. And for I think for next year, I'll actually keep track of the total multis I've done. So at the end of it, I can actually share, like, did it actually work out? How well did it actually go? Um, at least for me, thankfully, thank God that my stuff actually works out. <laughs> Hopefully it's the same for you. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, goodbye.